Shock and heartbreak in Dixon tonight as a couple and four children are killed in a house fire. At this hour, investigators still trying to pin down the cause. One of the victims, a 17-year-old boy, called 911 saying that he was trapped in his basement bedroom. No one got out of that house alive. The home is in a rural area near Dixon. Let's get to ABC 7's Liz Nagy for the latest. Liz. Rob, inside this small, very private community beyond the no trespassing signs behind me, people who live here say it has been an incredibly difficult day. Father, we just come to you tonight asking you to be the God of comfort. There's a warmth inside this rural community church, but not much understanding. Why am I hurting so bad for a family that I don't even know? The tiny community of Lost Nation, about 100 miles west of Chicago, has lost an entire family. I broke down in tears, and I didn't even know them. But surviving the holidays, it's going to be tough for them. Just about midnight last night into this morning, Ron Hinterlong heard an explosion on Miami Drive. It was fully engulfed in flames. It wasn't even, uh, I wasn't even able to run in and try and save anybody at all because uh, the flames were too big. Firefighters couldn't save the Shaw family either. How come they couldn't escape right away? How come they couldn't be alive right now? Melissa and Tim Shaw and Tim's four children died right there inside their home. Why couldn't it be somebody else? Like, how come it couldn't happen today? She says, I wish I could say goodbye to her the last time. Now a town of just a few hundred people is left struggling with the same questions. Tonight, fire investigators have still not determined what started that fire and what caused it to burn so intensely for so long. Firefighters did say that when they received the 911 call, they did not hear fire alarms going off in the background, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there weren't smoke detectors and fire alarms inside the home. Reporting live near Lost Nation tonight, Liz Nagy, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right.